guys can hear us. That's right. We in big space today. Big space. So. We are here with Jacob Candlebinder. He is with Atlas Studios. And um, why don't you first tell everybody where Atlas Studios is? Well, we're located just outside of Washington, uh, Highway 100, 5220 Suite A, uh, right next to Fifth and Oak and Oak Park. The Green Eggs. It's the Green right? Eggs. The Green yes. Eggs. No, yep. I love it. All right, so Atlas Studios. Um, what is Atlas Studios? Well, Atlas Studios is a uh, vehicle wrap and paint protection shop that we specialize in, and we also do signage and custom designs, things like that, signage, storefronts. You know, frosted glass, interior, exterior, lighted, you name it, we, we can cover pretty much anything. So. Well, I mean, you've taken care of the commercial sign of at my building at High Street. Mm -hmm. Had a storm come through, blew yeah. the whole freaking panels out. Um, <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You guys took care of that. You've redone the business names on there. You guys have done some metal signs mm -hmm. down on a building on 2nd Street. I mean, really, I don't know, is there anything you guys can't do? Uh, well, big billboards, um, that's typically something that's contracted out to a, a specialized company or um, manufacturing of light and sign. So there, there's different facilities that actually have the in-house capabilities of fending, forming, things like that. We don't have that here, um, but a lot of sign shops do stuff that out and are, and are still able to install. We okay. take care of the permitting and everything like that, just the actual manufacturing stuff. Of oh, that piece. Yeah. yeah. What kind of got you into this? Like, when did you, when did you move into this? Well, right out of high school, I thought I could draw. Uh, <laughs> shop, right? I can draw a stick piece. Yeah. I thought I could draw. Yeah, yeah. That's about all I, I was an art major in high school, and I went to college on a full ride for art, fine arts. Okay. And I thought it was something that would be a smooth transition into. Um, it wasn't, but I ended up sticking with it. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, so been in it 25 years. Um, I just really like the, uh, the diversity of it. Every project is something different. Yeah. Keeps it fresh, keeps it from getting bored with it, you know. And, then, and you, you know, the, the creativity translates, whether I'm drawing on paper or drawing on a computer. Right. You know, you're still taking a lot of those elements from that and, and applying it to people. So. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, you had a really cool job in here that, you know, I thought was very interesting. You think of vehicle wraps and, and how does that all work? So it's not just when you're talking about wraps, like this is his van here, Atlas Studios. It's not just that, but you also paint protection. Correct. And you have to be very intricate on getting around all of those logos and wrapping around. Yeah, all so they're, they're the two totally different processes. You know, a, a wraps install dry and PPF install wet. Now, they, there are some new products coming out, like dry PPF. Early stages, looks like it's kind of a fight right now, but it is coming out. Um, but PP, PPF is put on wet, and wraps are installed dry. So it's a completely different process. Um, wraps usually have bleed, nothing's cut to shape. So you wrap to the vehicle, you trim out two edges. PPF is cut to a kit, so basically there is no removal, there is no cutting, none of that on the car. So um, yeah, totally different animals, but a lot of similarities. Yeah. Like the film, a lot of insulation is the same. Um, but one, you put soap on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way that it's kind of evolved. Yeah. <laughs> so you were telling us about a project that you did for the Washington High School Band. Correct. Yeah, so that was uh, one well, we just finished out. up uh, about two weeks ago. And I think they used it last weekend, if I'm not wrong there. Uh, but we did um, 10 foot tall, custom cut max metal boards and uh, shingle tech. And his guys built some stands and we're rolling them around the fields and stuff. This is the second year we've done it. I believe last year they won first in nationals, and hopefully they, they take on the band. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Uh, so it's part of their um, marching band. Display. Yeah, their display. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Props. Or yeah. You know, right. Props. That's the word I was thinking of was props. Making them look good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, those, those are fun. Don't ones, have to do much because they're pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I want to see those. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I have some pictures, uh, just not on me. Um, yeah. I think there's some on, on Facebook. On Facebook, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, yeah they'll, they'll travel around. They get put up and broke down about a dozen times or something while they're in the end of the year. They'll travel around or something. And that's cool. Well, that's, that's, I didn't know that part. Yeah. yeah. What's one of your favorite projects that you've done? Oh, one of my favorite projects that I've done. Right, with that. <laughs> Other than the motorcycle he's building from scratch, yeah, we're that gonna we're show looking you at also. right now. It ain't so done yet. It is. Um, <laughs> we'll do a quick scan by. Well, scan it. honestly, probably my favorite project 
it doesn't exist anymore. I just removed it. Oh, oh your barbecue uh, trailer? Yeah, I, I had a barbecue trailer uh -huh. where we did a, a color changing theme from truck to trailer. Art carried consistently from one to the next. So it looked like a complete piece, whether the truck was by itself or hooked up to the oh, truck. Oh, wow. Nice. The art was carried. Yeah. Um, they all color shifted and everything. That's and cool. It, 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 was, it was a real head turner. Um, it was a fun project to do because I, I basically took a bunch of material and voided every warranty right out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I took about four grand worth of film and just went for it. Oh, and it, uh, it worked out great. It That's came out awesome. perfect, you know. Um, held up really well for years, and uh, fortunately, I sold it to another okay. deli here in town. Uh, Mosaic yep. bought it. Oh, yep. so okay, so I got it. Cool. From one food guy to another, so right. stay local, and it's all lettered up, and it's a new guy. So. That's awesome. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah, so, I mean, don't just make vehicles right. large, um, but obviously, I mean, that they're rolling billboards, yeah. right? So, if you, <coughs> excuse me, have one vehicle, that you want them to wrap, or if you have a fleet, you can do that. Um, you've done some window tinting on the building as well. Yeah, we do uh, frost. Uh, we do tinting as well on commercial, black glass, um, etch glass, things like that. Uh, I have done, so down at the Bank of Washington, they have a bunch of the uh, electric film, so they can hit a switch and Oh, that's wow. right. You were telling us that's about that. Cool. You, yeah, yeah, you hit a switch really and it dims. Yeah, it's got a power hooked up to it. So. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, and some of them dim. Some have colors, different things. It's, it's not cheap, but it's a really neat feature if you want some privacy on some glass. That's cool. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. A conference room or something. Yeah. Some high end stacks mm -hmm. coming, and you, you want to block out that glass, you can. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is really neat. Um, okay. And then yard signs, um, banners. Don't Boats and side by side. Boats? Uh, oh. I don't know. I got a, I got a low deck boat, river yeah. boat. We might be able to make something out of it. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot yeah. you can do to boats that people don't realize. You know, all, all those fishing trip boats and all that stuff down in Florida, that's all wraps. That's usually full wraps for advertising purposes. That's cool. And people think it can't go in the water or whatever. It, it can. Okay. You know, so we, we'll seal the edge with the with a sealant, go down to the water line, you know, there's, there's specifications you gotta yeah. work around, but yeah. you can definitely put wraps on both. That's pretty cool. Yeah, very mm. cool. Mm. A lot of side Ideas. by sides too. A lot of side by side. Yeah, people like to customize them. Of so course, of course. They Maybe want to get can... rid of the camo or make it camo yeah. or whatever. I saw some pretty cool thing. ones uh, about a month ago when we were in Arkansas and they were coming through. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, you asked me about one of my favorite projects. That was one that came to mind out of God. Brought in this side by side, three different bright fluorescent colors, like orange, green, and blue. Oh boy! And he had a door he wanted to have replaced, and he wanted. He said, "I want Skittles." On there. Oh my God! And I'm like, "Okay, that's gonna be fun." And so, Skittles. back and forth with some artwork, things like that. I ended up matching the colors of his, yeah. of his uh, powder coating. Worked that into the print, so I worked the blue, the orange, and the green in, and then made like a. A stripe design down the side and worked skittles into it as like a background. That's cool. He absolutely loved it. It came together really, really well. Skittles. And uh, yeah, I had no idea Taste the rainbow. how I was going to get to the <laughs> right. final. But you did. Yeah, it came out awesome. Yeah. But That's so it, fun. those are the fun ones, though, where you yeah. kind of get free reign. You know, they, they've got that, an yeah. end goal, but they don't know exactly what they want. Sure. And you kind of take all that together and, and you see them smile. Yeah. And didn't you just do something down at um, Bush Stadium? Yeah, it wasn't cool. for Bush Stadium. Um, it was for the Metro, uh, but it was just an advertisement for um, hiring the Metro. But it was concrete graphics, so it was about 16 foot tall, 30 foot long, something like that. Hmm. And we had to go down there and roll it onto the concrete. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is. Very cool. It was during a day game, so. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I had to hey, hear all yeah. the sounds and smell all the food. But. <laughs> Nobody offered you a ticket, did they? Right. Nope, That's guys, right. sorry. Uh, well, we're going to check out some of his machines and how they run, um, get some video, some other aspects, but sky's the limit. You want to get creative with some graphics, you do some um, logo designs too, if you've got a business and maybe you want to rebrand, uh, I think it would be a great like total package, rebranding and getting that out there. Yep. Start to finish. We'll go to complete that. There you go. All right, well, if you need to find Mr. Jacob, you can come out here on 
on 100 and or contact them. So how can people get a hold of you? Well, give us a call at the shop, 636-519-4115. And we're also on Facebook and Instagram. All right, we'll, we'll make sure to plug on that too. Yep, we'll plug it. All right. Thank you. All right, well, until next time, guys. Thank you. See you later. Thing, like this hotel here. I don't know. I know people that benefit. Um, I just need, and I'm okay reaching out to them just like cold. Going quickly. You guys, you know, like chat. Dude, when you guys are getting your... You're doing the ultimate space building, you know, when you're doing your signs and all of that. I grew up in Master Park. Yeah. We do all that. So if you ever walk through Master Park, there's like 150 glass offices at a time. Yeah. The staff has a Flashlight. Flashlight. Turned our face. Turned all the lights off, and it's reflective. That's cool. But that's what it looks like during the day. That's cool.